All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about links. Now, links are what makes the internet the internet. Um, basically, we want to have uh, documents that we can click on, uh, link in the document or in a menu or wherever, and it takes us to another document. It takes us to another page. It takes us to, to a whole other website even. Um, so we're going to jump right in and show you this. This is probably the most important tag that you're going to learn. Um, it, it is absolutely powerful, and this is actually what made the Internet uh, successful. So let's dive right in here. <clears throat> we have our uh, index page open, and I'm just going to go ahead and keep, continue working on this same, uh, this same uh, file here. Uh, and I'm going to go underneath our paragraph tags here and we'll just add a link a couple links okay so the first link that so the way that you make a link uh is an a tag and i believe that stands for anchor and by the way while we're at this uh in the last few videos <laughs> i had a brain fart and i kept calling these things head headlines and i guess just in my mind i was thinking of like newspapers and articles and things but the, the correct term is actually headings h-e-a-d-i-n-g-s um so he it was not headlines it's headings so i don't want to get you off on the wrong foot it's still the same thing it, uh, head a heading is a headline but um the correct term for those are headings i believe the correct term for these a these links they are called links but i believe it's a and that's short for anchor um but at any rate let's get going here so to make <clears throat> an anchor or a link from now on i'm just gonna call them links excuse me, um, you use an A right here as your tag. And then inside the tag, you type whatever you want to type. So let's type uh, about me. Okay. And if I just uh, refresh that here, well, we're missing some key stuff. So I'm gonna, we're going to go back and show you this. One thing that we're missing, there's something new that we have to talk about inside these tags. So this right here is called the tag, the whole tag. Um, sometimes these tags need additional information, okay, to make them work. Uh, it, a link, you need to be able to tell it where you want to go. And so the way that we do that is we use what is called an attribute. And an attribute is structured like this, okay. Uh, you, you do some sort of key equals, and then inside here uh, you have a value, okay. So this is how a, an attribute is structure now this isn't really a real attribute that we would use most of the time um, so I'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna show you what you need for the link so for a link in order to tell it where to go when someone clicks on it we need to tell give it an href and href uh, is an attribute that uh, basically it's a hypertext reference okay so this is gonna tell it where it needs to go when someone clicks on it now um, we have this about me. I'm going to go ahead and leave this empty here and see what happens. Okay, now you can see that this turns it, this gives a little bit of default styling here. Uh, it's underlined, and when you hover over it, it turns into a pointer showing that you can click on it. Um, we're not going to do that just yet. Um, before we get too far, what I want to do is show you uh, how this actually works. So, in order to do this, what I'm going to do is go back to our explorer over here and in our HTML folder I'm actually going to create a new file and this new file what we want to call it we'll just call this about uh, and we'll say about underscore me dot HTML okay we can name it anything we want and then up here uh, let's go ahead and do an HTML uh, 5 now uh, Something I want to show you really quickly to make this quick. So if I hit tab now, uh, that is not what I wanted to do. So that's messed up. Uh, never mind. Let's just go ahead and create a new document here. So remember, we started off with this doc type HTML. And then the next thing that we do is we add an HTML uh, tag. And then we have our head. And uh, inside our head, I'm just going to give it a title and call it about me. All right. And underneath our head here, we'll just give it a body now. And in the body, uh, let's go ahead and give it an H1. And I'm going to put my name. You put your name here. And then I'm going to do a paragraph here. And let's do uh, something that I like. I love 
to create websites. Okay. Now, if I refresh, you'll see that it doesn't do anything because we're not on that page. We're actually still on the H, the index.html. So let's go back to our index.html files. Now we have two files at or two pages in our website. So our website's just this directory. It's going to be a collection of files, and each file is going to have uh, is going to represent a page in our website. So the href here, we need to tell it where we want to go. And we can do this in two ways. We can do what's called a relative link or an absolute link, okay? A relative link is going to be, um, uh, basically it's going to be relative to the file that you're currently in, okay? And remember we can, we learned in the terminal that we can do um, a dot dot slash if we wanted to go up a directory or we can even do give it a directory. So say we had a directory in our project we could do directory slash file dot html okay so that would take us inside of another directory or folder and then put the file here but we're in the same directory now so we can actually just do about me dot html and if we want to be uh, a little more specific about what directory in we could just do a dot slash now dot slash just means the same uh directory i'm currently in that's what dot slash means. Dot dot slash is back one directory, okay? But dot slash is by it's in the same directory because we're right here in our root directory. And it was about underscore dot html. So if I save that now and refresh, um, you can see that the link turned blue by default, and that means I haven't visited that yet. But if I click on that, <clears throat> you can see that it takes us now to the uh, about me page. Okay, so now I'm in the about me page. But how do I get back? I can either hit the back button, but it'd be cooler <clears throat> if I had a link inside this page to get around as well. And so in this page, what I want to do here is let's go ahead and create a new line after our paragraph. And we'll create another uh, link here which in, with an href of dot slash index dot html. And we'll close that tag. And then we'll just call this home, okay? So now if I refresh, we have a link called home. And now I can freely go back and forth between the pages on my website. So if I'm here on my about me, uh, you can see in our title here, I can go back to the home page. And then here I can go uh, to the about me page. So that is a relative link. Uh, so this is a relative uh, href. Let's talk about absolute now. So let's go ahead and add an absolute just to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to add another link tag here and we'll give it an href and I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'll just put Google here. Okay. Because I can go to an external site. I can go to the same site and put it in apps and I can also use an absolute uh, link. But this, all you do here is you put the full URL. So I'm going to do HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com. Now, um, let me close this so you can see more of it. So this right here link will link to Google. So let's go ahead and refresh. And you can see I have about me and then I have this Google right here. Now, um, if I click on that, that's going to actually take me to google.com. So that is a way to, for me to link to other websites or uh, is to use an absolute path. And you have to have the protocol here at the beginning. So this is called the protocol. And the protocol for the Google is HTTP. Now all of them are going to be HTTP, but you'll notice that some of them have an S. And that S just means secure. So this is an encrypted connection, and that's the way that the internet is kind of moving to where everything is going to be secure. Uh, traditionally, you would just want stuff that needed to be secured, secured, maybe like uh, stuff that you were buying something with a credit card or whatever. You didn't want that uh, credit card information being passed over the internet uh, with, in plain text. So what this S does is we'll learn about a little bit more, but there's what's called an SSL certificate uh, installed, and it actually encrypts the information that's being sent over the uh, over the network, and then the server will uh, decrypt that 
and be able to use that information at that point. But if someone intercepts that information along the way, it will be encrypted and will not be plain text visible. Okay, enough about that. Let's talk about a few other neat little things we can do here. Uh, we can add additional uh, attributes here. So what I'm gonna do here is just kind of reformat this link just so this is easier to read. And right here, I'm gonna add another attribute uh, remember an attribute is just like key value pair that tells the uh, that tells the tag gives the tag additional information so we can do another one here we can actually do target and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do target underscore blank okay and what we're just gonna do this on this Google one and if I refresh now what should happen is it's going to open Google but instead of uh, changing in the same tab it's going to open a new tab for me so you see that it popped up a new tab and now I can go to Google, but my website's still open. So if I need to do that, I can, I can give that a target of blank and it will open in a new tab like that. Okay. Um, there are some other security issues to consider when doing that. And we'll maybe get into that a little bit more later, but I don't want to show, I just want to show you basically some different attributes. Another attribute that you can do here is a title attribute and the title attribute just gives more information. <clears throat> um so google let's just put takes you to google's search engine and this will give more information to the browser and also for accessibility uh screen readers can read this uh and and tell an impaired person who may be visiting your site uh where the link will take them <clears throat> So if I hover over this now, you can see a little uh, pop up pops up with that title that says takes you to Google search engine. OK, so that just gives a little bit more information about what the link's intending to do. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is getting kind of raw. But um, so, yeah, that's links. Uh, I think I think that we're good there. Go ahead and practice on your own uh, on your own site here, create a, a few more pages or just a couple pages and link them all together and then maybe throw a few external links. These ones uh, that take you off the site are referred to are, are referred to as external links as well. So create some um, relative links within your site and create some absolute links and um, and just practice doing that. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, and we're going to continue on with HTML in the next video. I think what we'll talk about in the next video is uh, lists. So, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about lists in the next video. All right, guys. Hope you're having fun. Hope you're learning a lot. Um, hope you're not too confused. But, yeah, <clears throat> if you are just, <clears throat> excuse me, if you are, just re-watch the video and um, practice, just practice, 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 and you'll get it. If you have errors, make sure that you have your closing tags. Um, it can get a little funky if you if you accidentally delete a tag here. So let me delete that H1 tag and refresh the page. And now you can see that it doesn't know where to end the H1. And now everything is kind of an H1. Older browsers would actually even break. So make sure that you have all your H1s and that they're, they're spelled correctly. Um, computers are kind of dumb. Oops. Computers are kind of dumb. So you have to be able to um, make sure that these things are spelled and they are properly open and closed and that there are no what we call syntax errors, meaning mistakes in the typing. So if you have any issues, just double check everything and make sure everything looks good. Um, if I refresh now, that will fix that. All right, guys, have a wonderful day.